Streamer season is a myth. It's not a thing. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Today's video is about some of my favorite streamers to use when I'm streaming streamers in a stream. When dry flies aren't happening, I do a lot of streamer fishing because I'm lazy and I'll do anything I can to avoid bobber fishing. Let's get started with the first streamer on my list, the Conehead Zuddler. A Zuddler has the rabbit strip wing of a Zonker and the deer hair head of a Muddler Minnow. Add some weight and flash up front with a little bit of hardware and you get a Conehead Zuddler. This is the streamer that I use most when I want to downsize from an obnoxious articulated fly. It's a little less intrusive to the fish and I think it's a little easier for them to get a hold of. I fish this fly on a six weight rod with a 10 foot sink tip. I mostly fish it in black or olive, but brown or yellow have been good for me also. And when I was in Patagonia, I fished a white one a lot because all the bait fish there are little silvery fish. I've heard people say they don't like flies with rabbit strips because they foul on the hook a lot, but I've got an easy workaround for that. Just stop sucking at casting. Okay, the next fly is basically two woolly buggers with some rubber legs and half a deer for the head. I'm gonna call it the dungeon. You probably know that's not the full name, but that's what I'm gonna call it here because kids watch these videos. The dungeon is a big, obnoxious, articulated fly by streamer god Kelly Gallup, who according to several YouTube comments I've gotten could totally kick my ass. Why that's relevant, I don't know, and also, Duh, of course he could. Anyway, I mostly fish dungeons in an olive color, but really you could say that about all the streamers that I fish. I like olive streamer bucks. For dungeons, I also like black or a natural tan or brown color. These flies are big and heavy, so I like to throw them with an eight weight fish pole, again with a 10 foot sink tip. The sink tip is important for this fly because the deer hair head is buoyant. That means it floats. Okay, last streamer. I'm only doing three because I'm one of those people that uses the same flies all the time wherever I go. It's not so much the laziness, but more enlightenment. Anyway, last one, the rusty trombone. Surprisingly, Kelly Gallup, who is the ass kicker of me, did not name this fly, but it still works real good. The rusty trombone can come in any color, I guess, but I'm specifically talking about this color. Olive, shocker, with some coppery, rusty tones mixed in. I don't know what it is, but holy moly does this fly work. I've been fishing this fly for about three years and it has caught a lot of fish, including this one. It's a basic fly, nothing fancy, but it just works. It's got a slim profile and it's much easier to cast than something like a dungeon. I'll use either a six or an eight for this fly and it's probably about time for me to finally get a seven weight rod. I've never owned one. I'm more of an even numbers guy though. And that's it, those are the streamers that I use most. I hope you learned a new pattern to fish or maybe even tie. Thank you as always for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I will be back as soon as I can with another video about fly fishing for you. Until then, go zuddle yourself up a fish and stay huge. I actually don't catch many fish on white streamers, but that's because I hardly ever fish them. Funny how that works.